Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Reasonably Effective Podcast. I'm Ten Types, joined by Uncommon Fossil, as always. Hello, hope you're doing well. And today we're going to be looking at some new cards, cards uh, that have been released on Poke. The information we, we've got getting from Poke Beach, uh, they're going to be part of the Stellar Miracles miracle set in japan july 19th and they should all be part of the stellar crown set internationally on september 13th and uh starting off and there's a lot of cards now a lot of them are kind of bulk cards but some of them are interesting and even some of the bulk cards are interesting to think about what may be doable with them so the first is a fossil card and fossils are are always awesome so we have antique cover fossil which is a trainer but then you play it once you play it It becomes a Pokemon, 60 HP Pokemon, not affected by special conditions, yippee, and it can't retreat. Um, You can discard it from play any time, though, so it does give a pivot, right? So maybe this is, decks need a pivot, maybe this is the solution. Anyway, ability, protective cover, prevent all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to this Pokemon. So it's as good as a Terra Pokemon, and that, actually better. No, 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 Terra Pokemon immune to damage. This is, stops effects. Yeah, ben, but even if right. it's on the active as well. Oh, that's right. So Roaring Moon EX hits into it. They think they're going to knock it out, but well, doing 200 damage to themselves, and boom, you're just sitting there smiling at them. So exactly. it's super awesome. Um, yeah. Drag- I, Dragapult has Dragapult EX has no effect if it's on the bench, so that's awesome as well, right? Yeah, immune to Sableye, uh, immune <laughs> to Mawile. Yeah, this can't be trapped. I mean, it can't be trapped anyway, and it couldn't retreat anyway, but it can't be trapped even more. Um, and... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's not that so good. It, it, no, it, it's it's a weird set of stuff. But anyway, yeah. well, um, the, the first it's... set of st- the uh, I think sixty HP is always what it is. It might not be, but yes. they can never be sp- affected by special conditions. The current ones can't can never mm-hmm. retreat, and you can always discard them. So that's always standard for 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 where the fossils are in the game right now. Yeah, I don't think that's true for unidentified fossil. I don't remember though. They're all like weird. That's all. Yeah, I, I think the older ones, and then there's the amber, which is essentially a fossil as well. I, I, yeah. I th- antique think it's the same antique. Uh, yeah, and these yeah. all start with antique, the the current ones. Yes. So uh, getting to the Pokemon they evolved to, there's uh, Tertuga, I guess is how you say it, 100 HP stage one. Uh, and it, for water, water it does uh, 70 damage, and you switch it with one of your bench Pokemon. So it's a hit and run, but 70 for two energy is very underwhelming, I would say. And then let's see, we have the stage two. This should be the big payoff here, 160 HP. Its attack for two energy does 130. That's not great, but it does have 150. Sorry, thank you. Um, 150. Uh, but primal knowledge ability, this po- your Pokemon's attack do 30 more damage to your opponent's active evolution Pokemon. And I assume it stacks because it doesn't say it doesn't. So that's the question. That That's what you'd play this for, right? For this... 30 more damage to evolutions. You want it to one shot your opponent's Dragapult EX. And of course, we've already told you they can't hurt your anti cover fossil on the bench or one sh- or knock out your opponent's Charizard EX, something like that. 30, an extra 60. If you get two in play, you know, has value. I'm not sure getting it set up, of course, is going to be very tough. Yeah, you do have Irida, which is like nice to, to get this. I don't know. This seems pretty underwhelming. I don't really know what you'd play this in. Um, I like water decks, the big ones, Chan Pao, uh, or Frostless right. decks, and this is pretty bad in both of those. So, I mean, you could kind of, like, it has IHP, so Frostless might not be the end of the world. Although the ability on the the fossil is actually a bad thing then, because it might get knocked out by Frostless. Oh, right, because you're taking 20, or 20 total between your turns, so um, you, you got to get it evolved fast. Um, well, yeah, I, initially I was thinking water decks, but then really it's not for the, you, I, you, you could play if you're going to play it. And the big issue is of course the fossil getting that in play just slows you down. Um, but it, it's got to be a, a, probably a deck that wants rare candy already. So maybe a deck with a Pidgeot engine and it doesn't have to be a water deck. You just needs a deck that wants a little boost to, 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 to one shot evolution Pokemon. And obviously stage two EXs are a real thing. So if you can get say from. 300 to 330 you know in, in in a deck that could have value yeah but i feel like you want irida like irida is irida is good i guess it doesn't help with the basic though so it's not that i right. mean it does help with the basic but it doesn't get it because it's a water pokemon and gets it because it's an item uh and then 
so I guess, this, yeah, this could be interesting in charge of Pidgeot. We are looking to do a little extra damage uh, at certain points of the game, but I don't think this card's mm -hmm. very good. No. Well, and also, look, like, like obviously Charizard EX doesn't do big damage early, and Dragapult, what does more damage, just doing 200, is coming up short on a basic EX or V for the most part. So having, well, although they're not evolution, so I guess I kind of defeated my argument there, didn't I? So it doesn't affect hitting into a basic. So, yeah, no, it's probably not going to see much play um, at all. If it is, it, it, the attack's not great. It would just be for the ability, and I think... Even if it didn't evolve from a fossil, it's probably not good enough. Yeah, the attack's not, like, terrible. It's, like, like Beck Caliber attacks. It doesn't want to attack, but it can. And that's 130 for right. 3. This is 150 for 2. So it's better. Um, it's not that good, but it's not that bad either. Right, and you're doing 180 to an evolution. So you're you're one-shotting single-prize evolutions, pretty much. That's But that's obviously not what you're running into most of the time. Yeah. Um, anyway, let's talk about the next card. And that yep. is... Vikavolt and Vikavolt here is is also from Stellar Miracle. There's a few cards we're gonna look at that aren't, but pretty much they all are. Um, we got Grubbin, which is not very good. We got Vikavolt, which is also not very good. It does 90 for one switch to the bench, which is, isn't like terrible, but not that good. Uh, and then it does 240 for four. Uh, again, not like terrible, but not that good. Well, hang on a second. I mean, 240s on a single prize Pokemon is good, right? The problem is it's four energy, right? Yeah, That's just stage two. awful. It is. Well, I mean, but to do 240 on a single prize, it, it's not, you know, if, if, if the energy cost was better, it would see consideration. Even if it was three, you could play, pay for it with the um, reversal. Reversal energy, but at, at four, you know, you, you've got to be hitting a bunch of generators, and it's just not going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then the interesting thing, and this card got a lot of talk. I think it got more talk than it deserved, but it's the Charger Bug with parallel lineup for one lightning. Search your deck for up to three Charger Bugs, aka all your Charger Bugs, assuming you're not doing something, like, super weird that I don't even right. know what that would be. Um, you need to be copying the attack from the deck. Uh, then you search your deck for up to three Charger Bugs and put them onto your bench, and then shuffle your deck. Um, and so, of course, we had to look at Vikavolt, which I didn't really know much about the new Vikavolt from Temporal Forces, but it says Circuit Cannon, uh, 120 for Lightning, Lightning, uh, but then it does 80 damage more for each of your bench Charger Bugs. Yeah, so you're doing... So if you get two in play, you're at uh, 280? Yeah, that's so, pretty you good. Know, I, and they could have three as well. Um, I, I, right, you could have you're four, not technically, but that's pretty hard. Uh so, but you don't need four, that's right? true. three is, is, um, you're hitting 360. So that should be enough. Um, and I feel like that's kind of doable. I mean, it's a little awkward, but it's doable. Um, I mean, you're going to get two's the number. I, you're probably going to get more consistently though, right? E even threes, you're not going to do three. I don't think you're going to do three most of the time. Uh, yeah. But I mean, well. if you like have a rare candy, uh, that's to do with prizing slash if the grubbins, the grubbins, what is it? Uh, no, if the Charger Bugs are in your deck, um, because right. if they're in your deck, you can't get them. Or no, if they're in your hand, or if they're in the prizes, or in the discard, you can't get them out. Uh, and then, also, right. you need to, like, very candid to the Vike Vault. You need to uh, probably attack. You could, like, turn one... I heard some people say you could turn one Salvatore and attack, but... Um, <sighs> uh, Sal uh, turn one Salvatore because, right, Charger Bug, it's an attack, it's not an ability... Um, you could. I mean, I, obviously, you got to get very fortunate for that to happen. Um, look, I, I think it's pretty. It's pretty sketchy, is what I'll say. Yeah. I don't think it's like that bad, though. Um, it's 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 kind of interesting. It, yeah, it's it's interesting. It, it, it's it's a reach, you know. Even for people, you know, even liking to play weaker, more. Uh, rogue decks it, it's i think it's pushing it for viability pr pretty uh, hard but i think but it's limits like, of upside's really good it is i mean look it's it's two energy costs that that's very good now you've got to accelerate energy along yeah, it's the way it's a little awkward you like reversal or um i don't know generator, you have generator, like generator but, that's but like then not you have good. to switch right you have to switch as well so i i'm a and, and I don't like having to rely, you can't just rely on reversal because eventually you're not going to have it or you're not going to be prizes and you're just going to wait for your opponent to do something. And that's not a, generally a good feeling. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, I, do you think there's much more to say about these? 
No, I, I, I don't. I, I, I honestly think the Vikaval to me is almost more interesting than the Charger Buck in that if you could pay the attack cost two forty, is is a very it, it it's a good number, right? I, I'm happy to be hitting that. Yeah, but aren't like there are a lot of cards like that? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just gonna do a real quick check, but I feel like that's not like that high. Um, I mean, yeah, there's like Conkeldur, which is that that's a weird one, but it does that much damage. Uh, mm -hmm. I feel like there are a lot of Pokemon that do that much damage, and like the single prize Vikavolt's probably doing more damage most of the time. Um, I guess it's well, a the other Vikavolt's, the um, one that's in, in format, the one that's in format now, the yeah. one twenty plus eighty more. Yeah, yeah. Look, I uh, I mean, you're probably right. Um, so so you might not even play this. Uh, the Charger Bug is interesting. I'm not sure how useful it's going to be. Yeah, no, I don't think it's that good, but it's it's okay. If we get a Vikevolt G or not GX, uh, EX, that that'd be pretty yes. potentially interesting as well. Yeah, and I don't know how likely that is or not or is not to happen. So we'll find yeah, out. I'd say like fifty. Uh, is it fifty fifty? I don't know. It's certainly possible. Vikevolt's gotten a V and a, a GX. Is it multiple GXs? Uh, I don't remember. Vikevolt's like a moderately popular Pokemon in the in the TCG. So. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so that's something to keep in mind. If if we get that ex, then it definitely should gets a lot more interesting. Yeah, but you you want to introduce the the slowpoke next? Yeah, the slowpoke and the slow king here, uh, psychic Pokemon oh, yeah. here. Um. So the slow the slowpoke is the basic with uh, pretty mediocre stats. It's eighty HP, so it's ten more than Buddy Buddy Poffin searchable. That's probably a bad thing today. Um, I did that now. The first attack for colorless energy could go into, I would think, maybe a control deck. You put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand, so maybe that's control. I'll, that's I'll hear your weak, thoughts. Though. That, that's pretty weak, it, it is. But I look, if, if it's going to do anything, that's about the only use you could have for that, right? The second attack, psychic colors does 30. That, that's that's just bulk trash there. That attack, yeah. I, I mean, um, so but there, there is a 70 HP slowpoke, or there are two 70 HP slowpokes, though. So um, that's good for you. Yeah, which I assume you're going to pair with this. And then the Slow King, uh, 120 HP, and it's got two attacks. Um, Inspirational Challenge is the interesting. Well, the second attack is Psychic Psychic Colors, does 120 damage. That's that's pretty, pretty meh, mediocre. Uh, you know, you can power up with Zatu or something, but, you know, that, that for the... You don't get the payoff for the work, but inspirational challenge for Psychic Cuddleless. You discard the top card of your deck. If that card is a Pokemon without a rule box, choose one of its attacks and use it as this attack. And that, I think we've both talked about on other videos, very interesting, right? Opens up a, a ton of possibilities of what's in, in, in format now, plus other new ones as they come out. So, and so you know, it's kind of like uh, Richie Drago V-Star in that you copied that one is different. You copy drag from the discard, but you pay the attack cost of the Reggie Drago V star. You ignore the attack cost of what you're using here. Once again, you don't, you can use high energy cost attacks, dragon Pokemon, or we have the stellar Pokemon with three different energies. You can no, ignore well, those that. Are, those are all rule boxes so far. Oh, you're right. Stellas, Stellas won't work. You're right. So, but you can, you can copy stage twos. I would imagine that's generally what you're going to be doing. That, that those are the better attacks there so um you know you can even copy the the new vika vault uh yep i guess so uh or well, that, that's probably the only way to actually use it right yeah um but so this is pretty interesting and the ways you can do this there's a new stadium from uh shred fable slash night wanderer which is our mini set coming yeah. in uh august is that um yeah it, so. it's legal for worlds i don't but i don't i don't remember the exact timing yeah, right I, now. I don't know when worlds is um i think it's a summer anyway no. so so i think it's like august early august and um there's yeah, a i'm looking it up but yeah okay, there's a stadium that lets you put a card from your hand on top of your deck which then you can discard with Slowking. there is also um a there there's like from me next code breaking letting you look through your deck put any two cards you choose on top that is a little bit awkward right because you don't want to be um, you want to get value from both of those cards. The one should be the Pokemon, and you ideally want to draw into the other one um, to be some like important card for you. But like there aren't many things that just draw one card. Most things draw two cards, or like look at two cards. So you could use, I guess, tracking shoes to get the one or something. But it's still pretty cool. You can't Raiding Grinch at Curly at Drake Look though. Those will all not work. But um, yeah, there, there well, are some options, uh, I'm sure. 
with the with the cipher maniacs code breaking though, you, you put the your your attacker on top of the deck, and then you've now have have set up your top deck for next turn. So that it's not terrible as long as you don't need the a supporter to set up your slow king to attack with. Yeah. Um, but yeah, th- there's ways to get the Poke the card on top of your deck. That that so that I mean, there's the two challenge. The one challenge is how do you get? Well, how do you power this up? I guess you have Zatu. Uh, that's not super ideal. I, I mean, we both use Zatu, but it's a little inconsistent. You have obviously Gardevoir EX, but that gives you probably better options than this. I would say, although, yeah, I don't. You probably don't slap this into Gardevoir. I don't think. Yeah, it's pretty pretty um, awkward to to sl- slide in there because it's like a, a one one line at least, and then and then you need some other attackers. And then you need Cypher Maniax Code Breaking probably, or the Stadium, which you're probably not playing anyway. So. Right. I, I have seen Gardevoir with Cypher Max Code Breaking, partly for the Radiant Greninja, I assume. And currently. Uh, so it, uh, that's true, too. That's true. Um, so, yeah, I mean, how do you power it up? And then how do you uh, guarantee, how do you get the card you want to attack? Well, that's the, the trickier thing there, I would say. Um, maybe Silene's going to become the, the big go-to uh, supporter, right? Then you, as long as you flip heads, you can keep one heads. At least you keep getting your attacker. No, yeah, you get your attacker back turn after turn. There you go, right? And then you have, yeah, I, there's Weird Air, which we talked about on the podcast a few episodes ago, uh, which lets you draw a card uh, with this ability. So that's good. Uh, so then you could yep. Cypher Maniacs Code Breaking uh, for one card you want on top and below that, the attacker. And then you can Weird mm-hmm. Air into that card as well. Broken combo. No, that's so, that's so so underwhelming. But it's an option. You got Dodrio to draw your one card. Oh my, yeah, you have Dodrio. My, my favorite. So, okay, um, so how can you, can you do that? I know. You also could. You also could just have your Goldengo on the bench too. Draw draw well, one. That's true. So, there's a lot. Um, that's just so so good options here. Well, look, Dodrio is not horrible. You don't want a, a a two prize guy just sitting there and Goldengo on the bench. Do, Dodrio probably isn't great, but you could attack. You know, you could do that, right? Yeah, you can perfectly attack with against Dragapult. <laughs> you just play Ravska down, and you, and you and you don't you don't have to sweat anything. That's so, true. Um, it, 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 look, it's it's really interesting how, how you're going to make it work is going to be tricky though. Yeah, I think there, it's going to be a cool card though. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing with it. It's kind of some people are compa- kind of comparing it to Zoroark Box, which I think we kind of are as well. Uh, it's a little different, yeah. a little harder to pull off, but a little more versatile as well. And it's going to be it's going to be pretty fun, I think. No, it's it's super going to be a lot of fun. There there are a couple. There's going to be more than one way to try to make it work. It'll be interesting to see what people do and what ends up being successful or not. Because you know the, the the payoff is going to be potentially very big. You know, then the question of what what attackers do you want? Um, obviously, it, it lends itself to a nice toolbox deck, which is which I always enjoy too. Yeah, uh, but then next we have a. A uh, clink, a clang, and a clink clang. Uh, the clink and yes. the clang are not very interesting. They're not like the most boring cards, but they're they're not that interesting. But then we have no. They're pretty. They're pretty generic. Yep. Uh, and then clink clang has 140 HP, three retreat, an attack that does for two colorless 130, and you discard an energy attached to this Pokemon, and then an ability emergency spin. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is in your hand and your opponent has a stage two Pokemon in play, you may put this onto your bench. So this is here to counter Champau uh, EX, Champau by Excalibur. It is okay against other things, though. I mean, it's not that good. 130 isn't that good. And then with double turbo, which you might be using, you very well probably are using, then that's 110, which is pretty underwhelming. I mean, Cramorant's like, okay, but... Oh, sorry, it's a discard all energy from this Pokemon as well. I misread that, but... Right, yeah, it's not one... Matter, it doesn't matter. Right, and but but the double turbo you're doing one ten CR one shotting the uh, Chien Pao. Um, you have to have it in hand, which you can get with Ultra Ball, obviously. Um, it's it, the one the the one thirty damage is is pretty underwhelming, though I will say. So yeah. in discarding all all ener- all energy, you know, or you you can slot it into your uh, Dialga deck, right? You can power yes, it up, but you, it's not metal attacking, so you could even put it in like. Um... Chin Pow or something. So it, you can put it in like a Lost Zone. It might go in a Lost Zone, honestly. Um, okay. It's like HP is, if you look at it as a basic, it's HP is really high. It's, if you look at it as a stage two, it's HP is really low. <laughs> but um, Right. It, it's 140. I guess you said that, I think. So it, it is low for a stage two, but if you could slap it into play, it's not bad. Obviously, Ultra Ball searchable. Um, you, just, you need to get those two energies into it, and it's kind of a counter or a, a counter for metal weak decks i would say um 
Oh, well, mostly Jin you know, because if you're against, like, an EX or a... I mean, if you're against a two prize, and most of the time, uh, other than basic two prizes, like the evolution two prizes will be surviving it even with weakness. So. Right. Assuming that you right. have a double turbo. Yeah, and even if not, I mean, most stage ones or V stars are two two eighty, right? That's kind of then they're not all that, but yeah, I that's, think the that's EXs are common. a little low, lower, but then the yeah, V stars will be surviving this. I don't really know what this is useful against other than Chimpao. Um, I'm trying to think what attackers Gardevoir has. But God was weak to to darkness, and, and you're not one shiny even if you did hit weakness. So I mean, it, it's okay though. I think it's like a, an okay Pokemon. I I like the I kind of like it that you could use it against a lot of decks, but it's it's damage output just is kind of low. I would have liked it to have seen it higher or less energy. Yeah, I mean because of the 130, I kind of feel like you've gotta be able to most of the time accelerate energy to it, right? I don't like the double turbo going down to 110. I think that's not good. I think that's going to be problematic. You could use reversal energy, but that you know you don't want to have to do that on top of. That's just too many shenanigans. So you kind of need energy acceleration, I think, and, and that's going to be tough. Yeah, and I guess this is pretty much always going to be getting one shotted back, even though it does have its relatively high HP for a single prizer, um, because your opponent now ha- already has a stage two in play. So you know it's a little right. a little sketchy there. Although the the cling clang mirror, right? They don't one shot each other, right? They That's do one thirty, and they and they and they have one forty HP. So they designed it for that, right? They did that was what they figured the, the meta is going to become. Yep. Um, so with that, let's move on to the, the next card. Uh, <laughs> yes. Our next two cards. We got wait, is it two or three? Oh, I guess four, it's four cards. But this this uh Fletchling, Fletchender, Talonflame line, the Fletchling and Fletchender are not that interesting. But the Talonflame is it has free retreat. Kind of. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. Uh, well, it has okay. a retreat, I'll say. Um, and it's yes. you know, lightning weak. It's a colorless Pokemon. Sometimes it's fire, but this time it's colorless. And it's attack for two colorless arrow chase, uh, 110. But if the retreat cost of your opponent's active is two or more, this attack does 110 more damage. I, I think I mentioned this earlier. I don't know the retreat cost of fossils. Uh, I didn't see any retreat cost on them. So that could matter for something like this. But uh, right. Gravity Stone... Here is the tool which says uh, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active, the retreat cost of both active Pokemon is one colorless more. So then this won't have free retreat anymore, but it'll be increasing your points active. Uh, and I think Gravity Stone is really good for control. Talonflame, I don't think it's very good, to be honest, but I think Gravity Stone is really good for control. Yeah, Gravity Stone, there's the old um, Float Stone, and this is the, which gave free retreat to, as the tool. This is, kind of, this is the opposite, right? It increases, but it only increases by one. So. Um, but it's meaningful. So I, I do like it. I mean, obviously with Fletchling, well, you, you have the uh, the Spidops EX as a way to increase retreat cost, and, and you have some other things as Pokemon as well, right, to increase retreat cost. Or the Stadium, right, to re- re- the, the one that does, what, fight, non-fighting basics, which, or is that a, attack cost? I get confused, but there is some Stadium. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's retreat cost, the Calamitous Wasteland, I think. Wasteland. Yeah. So, I mean, you have things like that if, if you wanted to pull, try it with Talon Flame. I, you know, the, the logical thing probably is in Spide Ops. I, now, to try. I don't I don't think it makes sense, though, in Spide Ops. Talon Flame Spide Ops or Gravity Stone Spide Ops? I think Talon... Well, well, if you wanted to do Talon Flame, I think I might want Spide Ops to... Because I, 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 I don't know. I, it's not great. I mean, I think you, you, I think you said Talon Flame is not great, right? Yeah. It's, it's not doing enough damage for the amount of work to do it. And if you attach a double turbo, which you're probably doing, then you're only doing um, 200. Well, you're doing 200, and so you're not one-shotting two, two, two uh, prize Pokemon, and that's probably not going to be good enough. So uh, the Gravity Stone is the more interesting card, right? And both for control, um, you do have, obviously, things Spide Ops, and there's a couple of the Pokemon that damage is based upon retreat costs, so obviously keep that in mind for those a type of attackers and yeah but but probably controls the big thing there yeah and obviously if you're doing like Snorlax, this isn't useful not not on the Snorlax. you could put it on like right. your bench rotom v or something though so if your opponent tries to guess mm-hmm. that up they still need to pay an increased retreat cost and they'll struggle to do that do that potentially um but on Snorlax, it's kind of useless because they can't re- retreat anyways but um yeah oh right. Snorlax. Snorlax, it doesn't do anything mawile. It's pointless because they're not retreating. But if you're in a control deck with like the attacker that, say, puts a basic Pokemon into play for either you or your opponent, it's a way to kind of get a little bit of stall while you're getting a Pokemon in play and such. So it's those other attackers 
to do something or, or a card to search a deck or like a, like of these hackers that let's say recover an item i think for the discard pile there's some attacker like that i believe right so gravity stone makes that turn a little bit uh, less shaky yeah um and then there's also um uh, you could turn off Heavy Baton with this. Although, if the, you have Beach Court and then Gravity Stone, then Heavy Baton's still on. So, um, But yeah, no, that, that's a thing, I guess. It's not very common. People don't really play Heavy Baton very much now. I mean, it's just a little bit of play, but I can't no, think I mean, I've, I've seen it. I saw. I think I saw it today. Oh, so. like, against the, against uh, the Future. Well, it was an Iron today. Hands. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't Future Hands. It was like... I think it was like lost so and I iron with all iron hands and I think they played it something like that oh, it was okay. it was a surprise to see it or Maridon or something or I mean like uh, Bex Caliber but um yeah so so if gravity stone becomes the thing and you're playing a basic deck you got to play it now play four uh a beach courts to counteract it well, but That's they're going to see it at. and then they just won't gravity stone and then and then you, it still won't work. Anyway, so that's like no, I I know I'm being I'm being silly. It, it, now the stadium, if you're concerned, is you know, um, jamming tower it can be a powerful stadium in a lot of things, and obviously that shuts this down. If that if that's a, a stadium that just could become more popular, more common in general, and that that obviously turns this off. Yeah. Uh, next we got raging bolt. Not the EX, but we got single part raging bolt and single part prize iron boulder here, which I kind of yep. forgot about these. But so, uh, of course, Raging Bolt, Ancient Pokemon here, 130 HP, Dragon Pokemon again. And it mm -hmm. has the attack for Lightning Fighting, Raging Thunderstorm. It does uh, 30 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon for each energy attached to this Pokemon. This is kind of interesting. It's not super powerful, but if you have, um, you know, you can get a good chunk of energy on it. And then you can be sniping a bunch. Right. I mean, like you could, uh, I don't know, I guess you use Sada's Vitality. I don't know how you get extra energies on. You could like energy well switch or something. Yeah, I mean, I think, yeah, I mean, you could, you could <laughs> make your quad uh, teal, teal uh, mask ogre pond with this and really go to town. But I, I think when that that's probably not what's going to work very well. Um, but I, I think in an ancient box deck, you, you you might put one or two copies in, or maybe four, because you you in, in, if you're basically attacking with roaring, the, the roaring moons a lot, you just need to get stuff in the discard pile um, as you go along. But then having something to clean up something on. Pokemon on the bench, I think even if you're doing 60, you will finish up things, say, like in a, in a uh, ancient box deck, I think. I think it would have that. I think, you know, I think you're playing ancient box. This probably goes in. Maybe. I mean, it's energy types are completely different. Well, I mean, uh, if you're playing Coridon, you still have the fighting, but you don't have any lightnings. Energies, yeah. So it's kind of weird. Um, I feel like the energy typing is pretty awkward for like, because Warring Moon is two darkness and this is a lightning and fighting. So it's no overlap there. But that's um, true. Yeah, anyway. yeah, so I guess if, if it's an ancient box deck, you, you might, but yeah, the energy still gets tricky. And then Iron Boulder, uh, Psychic Pokemon, 140 HP. This one's a, a future, and it's got the adjustable horn attack, 170 damage for Psychic Colors. That, that's pretty good. Uh, but if you do not have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does nothing. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. Uh, that that one kind of. How's that is gonna work? I'm not really sure about yeah, that. Yeah, I think you play it with Zadu. Uh, well, Zadu doesn't grow your hand that much. Like you do, Zadu grows your hand by one. I mean, of course, there's disruption cards, um, like Judge or Iono or Unfair Stamp or whatever, or Rock Sand. So you can right. use those to mess with your opponent's hand. Because keep in mind, mm -hmm. you always want to be putting your opponent to a lower hand than you because you need to actually play cards. So um, I think it's a pretty cool card. 170 is like solid. I mean, it's, it's a bunch of damage for a single prizer, um, especially is. a basic. And it's attacks pretty payable, but you do you could put this in Lost Zone as well. That might make sense, um, especially if you are running some future stuff. Then um, this Lost Zone already runs future Pokemon, so you could take advantage of that. And it's pretty easy to get your hand down in Lost Zone, and you often have big hands. Although you can't always thin it like super low. A lot of times your opponent might have like say three cards in hand. If you have like ten, that's a lot of work to do. But it's generally like kind of doable. Um, so I think I think yeah, Iron Boulder's Iron Boulder's pretty cool. Yeah, concerned with Lost Zone just because as you're discarding things and Lost Zoning cards, you're always having to get back resources. So you have if you have to chuck extra cards into the discard pile to, just to thin your hand, that's going to make it even tougher as the game goes on. I think. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think. True. Gardevoir obviously could power it up, but I don't think Gardevoir wants this in the deck. I don't believe. And then it's a future card, so does it go in a future deck? Because future obviously has psychic attackers, 
already. Um, that that's the that's pro is is there benefit in that? Obviously, one seventy damage on a single prizer, you know, in like your Maridon, uh Iron Crown deck, you know, um, and then you're doing even more damage. Um, that's where I think it could have value, but the, can you get yourself to your, the same hand size? That that that's a challenge. Yeah, I feel like you can judge, um, and that's probably going to be good. like Iona. You're probably going to be lower than your opponent's hand size most mm -hmm. of the time because you're like a very fast deck. But uh, with with judge, you can like judge and not play anything, and that's not like that big of an issue with the deck. It, it depends, but there are a lot of times when that's just, just kind of okay. Um, so yeah. I think I think it could be solid in that deck as well. Yeah, because because with future box, then you can you you're going to be able to one shot a basic V or basic EX with Iron Boulder, right? When you have the tool attached, you have at least one Iron Crown, and with the Maridon, you you can power it up in, in such on a previous turn. So I, I'm thinking you might slot like one in or something like that as a single prizer to help fix some of the prize mapping. Yeah, yeah, it's solid. Um, but anyway, I don't think there's too much to say about this. I mean, it's it's cool. No. Um, it's a cool psychic Pokemon. But yeah. Yeah. Next up, we got Orthworm EX with its ability. So it's just a uh, basic EX um, that is metal, 220 HP, yep. and its ability, Kerpow Return. Um, when this Pokemon <laughs> that's is... pretty funny. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah I, don't, I assume that's not what it's going you know, to be translated as. But um, when this Pokemon's damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if it's knocked out, which I feel like is weird. They always say even if it's knocked out, but they're usually knocked out. I feel like they should say even if it's not knocked out. But um, put two damage cows on the attacking Pokemon for each metal energy attached to this Pokemon. And its attack for four colorless does 150. And during your points next turn, the defending Pokemon can't retreat. So that's kind of a weird uh, combination of stuff. Yeah, 150 damage. I mean, you're not slotting this in as a control card in, in a deck that wants a control option. Because you're at 150 damage, you're going to knock stuff out, maybe one-shot it, or you're going to knock it out pretty quickly. So the, the not retreating is weird with the 150 damage. Um, four colorless is pretty rough though. Um, that's, you know, and, and you have to have a bunch of metal energies attached or else the ability is no good. So I, so it's, I guess it wants to go in a Matang deck. I, I'm, I, I guess, is that what yeah, it would I think, have I to think go it's into? Yeah, Matang, Earthworm, Earthworm, but that's like interesting. I mean, if you're against a single prize deck, like, um, well, I don't know. It would need to be something ideal with less than ADHP or ADHP or less. If you're against Gardevoir, this is pretty solid. You knock something out with right. Rock Tomb, and you knock something out when they hit into you. Um, and that's pretty good. And then you could potentially tank up with something. Uh, Metal has some solid tanking options. Nothing like... Uh, the, the stadium's pretty good, and then there's um, just the normal stuff like Hero Escape. But I think, I think it's kind of cool. Well, and it's a basic, which also means you can use... Um... The supporter to scoop penny again to if it gets damaged, um, as long as you can reaccelerate them and, and such. You have things like that for basics, which, which are useful too. Um, and don't forget, um, the United Wings is getting getting a buff, right? So oh, that's true. you know, so I think if you're playing Iron Wings, your opponent gets this in the active and set up. You you probably scoop at that point. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, you could also just like one shot this, and then you're still trading evenly, which is like. Right. But then it's so awkward to settle. I feel like this card's not very good. Maybe it'll have some like weird case if there's some way where you could just have a bunch of metal energies on it. Um like really easily. I, I can't think of what that would be, but that would be interesting. Yeah, I mean I the lo logical place right now is you put it in a um the uh the V Star. Dialga, Dialga V Star, yeah. right? Dialga Matang, and you would slap one of these and I'm not sure that there's matchups that want it, but I would think that's that's where you'd consider this probably. Yeah, I mean, the, you have the issue where like your opponent's playing, um, I don't know, some Pokemon with like a good chunk of HP. That Dialga V Star is V Star power isn't one shotting, but you could get hit into have your Orthworm hit into and then one shot it with a Dialga V Star, which is an interesting option. Right. Well, and you could you, you have your Orth Orthworm EX and you don't as long as you get knocked out, then you Thornton and then evolve into Dialga V Star. Yeah, right. I feel like you're getting knocked out a lot with this, though. <laughs> and you've played a, a Thornton decks more than I have, I think. And, and it, they, they, I, I, at least my experience is they tend not to go well. Yeah, I mean, I, I played in control, and it's like so I've played in control, and it's it's pretty solid. But um, yeah, generally it's kind of sketchy. Yeah, so it's interesting. Not sure how useful it's going to be. Um, all right, so moving on, I think we've got what Doxbun. We have a, bun, a bunch of Pokemon here, so. 
in this one, as well as some supporters or trainers. So starting with uh, what Joltik, the Lightning Basic here, and then it's got an evolution. So the Joltik, 30 HP, uh, basic Pokemon. You can battery charge, search your deck for two basic Grass energies and up to two basic Lightning energies. Have them to your Pokemon any way you like. So that's actually pretty interesting. It's for a colorless attack, too. So um, if you're playing Lightning and Grass, or you might have other types too, because it evolves to a stellar Pokemon, I believe, here. But just that just that attack on its own is, I think, pretty interesting. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's a lot of acceleration. Um, uh, generally, acceleration attacks in standard. I can't think of any, honestly. <laughs> um, but Well, because you're burning my, your attack to get the energy to play. I don't know, has, has there anything... How often has there been something with four energies to accelerate, though? This is a lot know, more upside not really than a most. Thing. I mean, there, there are some that are accelerate, like, all the energies from your hand or something like that, which are, like, okay, but they're kind of niche. But, but here at Search Your Deck, so you should be able to reliably get two grass and two lightning into play. Right now, it, that's, it's a weird energy mix. It obviously ties into what it evolves into, but, it, it look, it's a possibility for some other decks as well, right? I would say. Yeah. Um, um, so, so we have the EX... Uh, the, the Galvantula EX 260 HP, which I guess is kind of the, a very standard HP for a Stage 1 EX. It's a Terra type, and this is the uh, a stellar Pokemon, right, I believe? Uh, yeah, Based it on, is. So, you know, so it prevents damage when it's on the bench. Uh, and it's got two attacks. Well, it prevents uh, the damage because it's a Terra Pokemon. Yeah, because it's a Terra Pokemon, yes. Thank you. Um, and two attacks that, that do different things that both potentially have value. Charged Web is probably the more useful, one, easier one. It's a lightning colorless, so easy to, to power up. It does 110 damage, and if your opponent's active Pokemon is a Pokemon EX or V, it does 110 more. And obviously there's a lot of EXs and Vs around, so 220 for two energy on a stage one, it, that, that's, it's very solid, right? You, you will one-shot some things, and you can power it up. You know, you, you can you should be able to get it powered up. Hopefully, not too difficult. Yeah, yeah, this attack's pretty solid. Um, I feel like it's 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 like a just a decent attack. It's not insane. It's not something you want to rely on all the time, but uh, it's decent. Like we've seen in um the lightning decks, the uh, like Maridon decks, we see Magzone V Star sometimes chucked in, or sometimes some other kind of unique attackers that are not like super powerful, but are solid and see play in those decks. So I think this could be yeah. something like that for its first attack here. And then the second attack, uh, which I guess is the big attack, um, but it, it's this is the hard one to pay. It's Grass, Lightning, Fighting, so you kind of have to use the Joltik to power it up or some other way. That, that's always that's super awkward. And then you, it does 180 damage, which is, for that energy, is not great. And then you discard all energy from this Pokemon so to make it even worse, right? So now when you do the following turn, but the upside is your opponent can't play any item cards from hand next turn. So 180 and the item lock is good, but it's not going to be easy to set up. So I'm not sure how viable that's going to be. Yeah, I feel like if you can pay it, it's like so good. Uh, it's just like you don't just win, but it's really good if you can attack with it multiple turns in a row, uh, which is yeah. quite awkward because... Um, yeah, it's it just awkward, right? Um, but there, there's a there's a tool. I forget the tool. There's some tool that like got revealed, but I, I think it accelerates. Oh, it's it's from uh, it's from the the sad um, night wanderer or shredded fable. I think it's the uh, the hour power glass. Um, at the end of your turn, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot, you can attach a basic energy from your discard pile to that Pokemon. Uh, and then there's also the uh stellar support cards there's the um mm -hmm. most notably uh the a spec which says you can attack for one less energy of um whatever type you right. choose so that's pretty good i think um and then you can you could do i don't know i mean it's what do you use you can do electric generator of course there is the joltic as well which is pretty good um yeah i mean i i kind of think the jolt it's designed obviously for the joltic if you use the joltic you've now got your two energies on two of Joltix or Gavantula EX on the bench, and then you've attacked for one. If your opponent, as long as your opponent just knocks out your attacking Pokemon, if they gust up the guy from the bench with two energies, then you're kind of crying. Well, but you still but have, you have two or two en or one with two energies and one with one energy, so it's not that bad. Right. So, and then you attack with a Gavantula, do 180, might even take a knockout, but either way, they're item locked. So, hopefully, you survive a turn, and then you're getting your other Gavant you know, energy onto your other Gavantula. And, you know, it, it has potential. I, I think the Joltik attack could work with this. Um, obviously, it's a go second deck. 
um, would that work? You know, going, you know, right now going first, second is pretty well split. Although I think first, well, I'd, I'd say first is favorite a little bit, but that, I could be wrong about that. Yeah, no, I'd agree with that. The other thing you could do as well is have Venomoth, which is one grass. Item locks, yeah. does 30 and confuses. And then once you build up to Galvantula, you can mix that in. A big issue with item lock decks, uh, notably, um, I mean, whatever you think of an item lock as an attacker, uh, like... Yeah. Uh, Vectival V, Assassin's DX, or even older ones, or newer ones like Venomoth or Bayonet EX. Uh, they item lock right. and they do very little damage, and so then you can, uh, you want to be able to take a one shot at some point, but then um, once you're taking a one shot, you're dropping item lock, and that can be a pretty big issue. Right, and like with the with the Venomoth, besides it only does thirty damage, but they're also confused. So then you you have the, you're kind of hoping at times they they flip tails too, because um, because they're going to have a hard time switching out of the active to reset since they don't have any since their item lock. So, um, you know, yeah, that's an interesting thought. Pairing it with something a lower uh, lower cost along with it, or you kind of rely on the first attack a lot of the time, and then occasionally utilize the second attack. I'm not sure. Although, since you need the three energies, you really have to. If you're using the second attack, you probably have to really build your deck to make that happen. Maybe too much to do anything else you just have to you're all in on that probably to get those three energies powered up yeah yeah uh but then we have some other pokemon i think there's not too much to say about uh, too much else to say about Gal- galvantula i mean we could talk about it longer but yeah. um yeah it kind of is what it is uh and then we got we got fido which is, is kind of boring and then we have dosh bun ex which is kind of interesting this one has its ability and its ability if you're familiar with cheryl it's it's Cheryl. Um, once during a turn, when yep. you play this Pokemon to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may heal all damage from each of your evolution Pokemon. And if you do, discard all energy from each Pokemon you healed in this way. Uh, and then you also have Wonder Sign, two colorless, 130. Your points active is confused. And you can you have 250 HP, which is kind of bad, and a two retreat, which is, I don't know, kind of average, kind of bad. Um, but this yeah. ability, I mean, Cheryl, Cheryl is good, right? Yeah, no, Cheryl is good. We both like Cheryl decks. They the nice thing is here you're not using your supporter for turn. Um, so that's really good. I mean, you could use Dox Bun without the attack too. I mean, you could attack, you're probably attaching a double turbo, which you could do every turn. They're confused, you're kind of hoping, but I'm more wondering if you play a Dox Bun EX in some other deck where you want to heal off uh, your main attacker. Yeah. I think you I think it's probably I'm not sure what deck like it could be like Charizard DX. Could be um, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like good tanky Pokemon. I mean, Goldengo EX is kind of tanky, one RNG. So, right. I mean, obviously, yeah. Obviously, like you said, Charizard, Dragapult. Those are the the big things largely these days. Um, is is it work for those? Although you gotta, the problem is you have to power it up again. So yeah, that, you can do and, that with and, Charizard. But, you can't really do that with Dragapult though. No, probably not with Dragapult. I mean, no. I mean, you could. I guess you'd have to have a Zatu engine and be able to switch and stuff, and that's just too many pieces to to make it work. Yeah. Also, think. you can retreat and then you can evolve into this, so then you don't even lose any energy. If you don't have any energy, that's fine, uh, which which is okay. So you're looking for one energy attackers, but I can't think of any one energy um, attackers that have like a decent amount of tankiness outside of like Golding is not that tanky. It's not like oh, it's getting one shotted, but it's certainly getting one shot sometimes and it doesn't have a ton of extra deck space anyway it has extra bench space though yeah it all depends on your build mm-hmm. but well what about uh greninja ex Pack oh yeah for one you search that's for any one card you, you you like that guy so yeah. how about this for a way to play it you know that, that, that could be good um dash bun does have as i said earlier it has its low hp which isn't so good but that's an interesting option and because the Greninja EX can attack, it could be control, and it does play double turbo, which which lets you attack with Doxbun if you want, but it also wants the double turbo for uh, Greninja EX. So I guess I'm th- I'm thinking that's a good place to start to explore how to play this card. Yeah, um, and I think this is this is a cool card. I think Doxbun's kind of fun. I just got a it's got a Pokemon that like walls fire Pokemon, which is kind of random, but I think it's cool. Why are there are so many Pokemon that wall fire Pokemon as well? Like that's they're, they're not usually that good. Um, but anyways, yeah, I mean, I because I think the designers are all all started playing when Welder was around, probably right, and think fire is what you got to worry about. Yeah, maybe. Um, anyway, so then we got speaking of supporters transition, we got Lacey, um, which is. A supporter here um yep. but it says shuffle your hand into your deck then draw four cards but if your opponent has three or fewer prizes remaining draw until you have eight cards instead shuffle draw eight good shuffle draw four bad 
Um, this is okay, I guess. I don't know. It's not like the best. Well, look, I, I love single prize decks um, and, and looking for good supporters, right? We have Cynthia's Ambition as one that's been around. You draw to eight, right? But you are usually, for a lot of these single prize decks, you already have a bunch of cards in hand. So just adding three new cards isn't gr- isn't great because the oh, other with Cynthia's like, Ambition. Right, with that, like you had five cards and, you know, if you couldn't play them already, you probably don't need them. So shuffling in and drawing eight is is better, right? I, I think L- Lacey's good for that i i am also you know it's I'm not playing like good past... in the early game for single price decks we need to be setting up so correct um yeah having some i mean i i will say i like i'm starting to explore hassle more because i think that's actually pretty good for these single prize decks which i like a lot maybe it could go in a um a thwacky deck and i still haven't you know i've, I've done thwacky D- diplin i don't think diplin's attack is good enough but you know thwacky's engine's pretty good so what else can you do maybe if you're going single prize in particular because these want to be in single prize decks because you, you need to be able to get knocked out often and not lose the game to take advantage of it so with thwacky you can have some other supporters early game and you can get lacy late game maybe, maybe something along those lines will work yeah i mean i think it's fine in multi-prize decks as well like um, a lot of decks, if you're playing a, a deck, maybe like Guard... Well, okay, that's kind of a single price deck, but like some deck that has um, that builds in the late game and gets behind in the mm-hmm. early game, you could do it with like this. Like you put in Charizard uh, EX as well. I'm not, I'm not really sure what decks want yeah. this. I feel like it needs to be a deck that kind of relies on supporters most of the game, and decks just don't really do that right now, uh, except for like Turbo decks, which you certainly don't want this in. But um, I think I think Lace is a kind of... I think it's like an okay supporter. Yeah, well, in decks that I think would play unfair stamp, maybe could use this because they're falling behind some. So then you're giving up some prizes. So at some point, this that type of deck may have more value. Could could see this, but it's it, although you don't I think need it's to a be good falling look. behind to ever to use unfair stamp. Correct, correct. But but you are, you know, you're you're, you're giving up prizes early on is often part of the game plan for unfair stamp decks. Yeah. Uh, but we, we do have another ace spec here, which is Great Tree or Big Tree. Um, and once during your turn, each player, uh, there, no, once during each player's turn, that player may search their deck for, this is a stadium, ace spec stadium. Uh, they can search their deck yep. for a stage one that evolves from one of their basics and put it onto it. Then if that's a stage one, they can search their deck for a stage two that evolves from it and evolve um, from the stage one and evolve into it. Um, and they shuffle their deck. But you can't use this on the first turn it was put into play or uh, on a turn you played the basic. But um, it allows you to kind of evolve faster. It's kind of weird. I, I don't know what... I don't think this card's very good. I mean... Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, first off, I just want to say that it's got a lot of text on it. Like, they've had some cards with lots of text lately, and this one is really pushing it. I I, I know I they're trying to say a lot, but it bad, seems but... like there should... It seems like there should be a better way to say it. it. It's like it's like a whole paragraph though, and we're not used to that for Pokemon cards. Yeah, but this anyway. is like Rowlet and Lonely Executor, and um, that one. I'm gonna pull it up real quick. I think it. I think it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Super growth is really long. Um, it's like search your deck for. It's the same thing. It's it's a little different actually because it can evolve from a stage one into a stage two. This can't. Well, like it evolves the basic into the stage one and then to the stage two, but um. Yeah. Yeah, it's long, but I I don't know. They it, want to be precise, so that's fine. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. I it what would use it though? You brought up that question. Obviously, you know that's a good question. What would want it? And obviously, your opponent gets to use it too. And of course, you're using up your A spec for the deck. So getting uh, now, you know, Evo Incense was a really good card. So if if you can get this in play and it stays in play, you know, getting a stage one every turn, there are decks that want that. Um, yeah, maybe Gardevoir. Not, I don't know. I don't know if that's second. No, there. the Gardevoir doesn't need it because it just has a few curlies and everything else is a basic attackers, right? Yeah, but I'm thinking if you like get kind of um, your curlies keep getting knocked out because you do, it doesn't play rare candy, so it's kind of like rare candy, right? But it's not rare candy. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's actually more awkward to search out than rare candy, so uh, it's probably not that good. And then of course they want other aspects, but um... right, it's a stadium. I, I think is there stadium search coming out though? Yeah, but also you were saying it's like uh, it's like searching for a bunch of evolutions, a bunch of stage ones. But then there's Hyper Roma, which right. literally just searches for a bunch of stage ones. Three at once, yeah. So this is you 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 got to keep doing it turn after turn. Oh, and so it helps your really opponent, know. potentially. It uh, right, and there's enough decks that utilize stage one 
you know, I, I don't, you know, would you play it in uh, Dragapult EX because you want to get the Drake Lokes in play? And again, you're not playing rare candies too much in that deck. Um, you yeah, know, but you really I want your upper energy or some other respect, so. No, I, I yeah, no, I again, I agree. I mean, I probably don't want this, so I'm not sure this is going to see play. I, I, I don't see a deck for it, but, you know, maybe I like to play, like I mentioned, Dodrio. Could I play it in that? But, you, you know, probably not. But, you know, that's the type of deck, I guess, if anything's going to use it, something like that. A single prize stage one deck that you got to keep getting replenishing your stage one every turn that that's the if any deck wants it it's some it's that type of deck yeah uh, but th then let's move on to the next cards which are the ladyba and lydian uh lydian here has its ability well it has an attack it has free retreat as well the attacks like it's, uh, 70 for two colorless uh ignore any effects on the on your opponent's active including weakness and resistance or i guess weakness resistance and any effects but um then the ability right. here star sparkling no sparkling star pattern when you place pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your pokemon during your turn you may switch in one of your opponent's bench pokemon with 90 hp or less remaining to the active spot which is good i mean it's gusting any buddy buddy pop and pokemon and curly isn't drake cloaks and stuff like that right and, and it's also gusting you know the high hp pokemon the component retreats to the bench and it happens on a regular basis right the damaged high hp pokemon the da right you're you you're, you're you know, that your opponents, you know, their Charizard EX, their drag up, you know, there, there's something is high HP that's damaged that they retreat to the bench. So you get that up too to finish it off, which is good. Um, you could obviously attack with this if it's a double turbo doing 50. So that's not great, but you will get some knockout. It may be just something to help uh, control the game, right? Is what I'd say. Yeah. Um, yeah. And maybe in a Snorlax deck, you might have Snorlax, Monkey Dory. You, you can gust up and, and keep get something stuck there. Maybe, maybe that. I, I probably not. <laughs> but no, no, I'm just well, saying. Who's out I'm, here playing? No, you're the only one who plays Snorlax Monkey Dory. No one else does that. <laughs> uh, you, just got, you just gotta have your frost last too. Although then then we're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, then you're damaging your lady and and then um and your Snorlax. So I don't know how much you can like deal with that. But um, <laughs> you know, I think uh, I think lady is pretty good. It's uh. It's gonna take up a bunch of bench space, but there bench space, but there is that a uh, stadium that increases your bench size. Assuming you have Terra Pokemon in play, this is a pivot, so it's not like yeah. that bad. Uh, so I think it's a pretty cool card. I think it's gonna see play. I don't know how much it'll see, but I think it'll see some. It is it's a little awkward to search for. No level ball. There's only Ultra Ball. Oh well, no, there's not only Ultra Ball. There is Feather Ball as well. Um, I think that's it for standard. Oh I mean, yeah, it's like great retreat. Ball, um, and we got the new stadium. Stuff, but, like, got, you got great tree. Don't forget that. Well, but that doesn't work because it's from your hand. Oh, so. it's from okay. Uh, and great treat. Well, oh, that's true. And that puts it. Oh, that's true. That goes right on the bench. What I think is going to happen with this card, I think at some point it'll see some competitive play in some weird decks where people toss just a one-one line to try to kind of clean things up. Yeah, right? I think that, I think that's fine. I think it, like it'll be pretty good for that. It might even be a two-two line. I don't think there's any other Lydian. Are there any Lydians in format? Um, no, no, there aren't. This, Lydia never gets good cards. Um, so, but, so if you're an attacking deck where you're not finishing things off sometime, and that's I'm talking to you, Charizard, I'm talking to you, Dragapult EX, although Dragapult EX has the spread, but uh, sometimes you want to control the no, it's actually Dragapult doesn't want it because you want the big HP guy to hit into. So, I take that back. But like Charizard, you're not finishing stuff off early, you have something weak at some point. And you don't want to use you're not you're, but you're not always falling behind that deck. So counter catcher's not good, and you want to save your supporter. I think at some deck like that, maybe. Oh, and this then you has also value. play you play Cleffa, Pidgeot, Yaks, and Lydian, so then you can get really good value off of a uh, Feather Ball. <laughs> there we go. Oh, it, yeah. Is, is there's a supporter? There's the tr item to uh, search for a Pokemon with the same name, right? That's coming uh, out. No. No, I don't think so. I don't know what you're talking about. I, are you talking about like a ball card? Yeah, wasn't there one? You, you search for a Pokemon that's in play, and you can a Pokemon in play. You can search for one from your deck. No, I'm, uh, I'm making that up. No, I think you might know, be thinking of I don't know Repeat Ball, which is that, or um, or Love Ball, which just came out, which is search a deck for a Pokemon Love of ball. the same name as one of your opponent's Pokemon in play. Oh um, well, that that that's harder to control then, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So yeah, I don't think there's a new one coming out like that. Um, but okay. So so this one's interesting. Uh, as as a as a tech into decks, it's not, I don't think it's going to make a deck, but it, it it'll find 
find some value in things. Um, so I think move the next one here, we got a, a list of a few different cards, starting with a, a Crab Crawler and Crabomitable. The Crab Crawler is... Crab Crawler. Crab Crawler. Crab, crab, crab Crawler. Yeah, sorry. Thank you. I'm glad. Got to get that right. It's not very I, good. No. What's that? Uh, what did you say? I don't like Crab Crawler. I don't know what I said. It, whatever like, I said I'm, was completely... It was kind of weird. Anyway, so yeah, Kravala not very good though. <laughs> no, but you need it to get to the stage one. Kravabomble. Uh It's got 160 HP, and it's I got the ability prep work attacks used by this Pokemon cost one colorless less for each Kofu card in your discard pile, which uh, we have that. We'll get to that. Um, and the attack though is water and four colorless, so that's not great. But Haymaker does 250 damage. Uh, that's very good, but then it can't attack the following turn. It can't use Haymaker, it says, but that's the only attack it has, so it might as well just say it can't attack, right? Uh, um, I well, guess you could, like, Technical Machine, right? You could Technical Machine. You could also um, you get your um, the uh, the copies, the your other evolutions, and, and, and do, like, 50 damage, too. But uh, anyway, you, you know what I'm talking about. You uh, copy the pre-evolution yeah. attacks. Oh, oh, the Relicant, yeah. I thought you were just saying the Relicant. Was, uh, Slow King, but yeah, yeah. Um, so that, that's that's the thing. Uh, and then you have there's the Veluza next, which is similar, same ability, uh, one colorless less for each Kofu in your discard. And yeah. I think this will apply to technical machines. So, um, or is it? I don't remember. I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think it does work with technical yeah, machines. Yeah, because it's attacks... Based on the way it's phrased here, a text used by this Pokemon, it's it's it, the the issue with the um, Diplin, like with copying attacks, it's it's on this Pokemon, but that doesn't say that. It just says that this Pokemon attacks are used by it. So I, I believe TMs apply. Yeah, and so it does one ten for four and isn't affected by effects on the defending Pokemon. Although it does hit weakness, it's very similar to Cramorant, but it does hit weakness. Uh, and then we got Kofu, yeah. which is a supporter. Put two cards from your hand on the bottom of your deck. Uh, in any order, I guess that's cool. Uh, and then you get to draw four cards, um, and you have to put the two cards on the bottom. Right, and if you can't, you, you can't use it. So if you don't have two other cards in hand, it's a dead supporter for you, unless you can draw some cards. Um, so that's a downside, but it, it's, look, it, it's not a great supporter, right? The idea behind the supporter is to use the ability on Kerbomble and Veluza. Right, that that's yeah. that's what it's about there. Um, so so, and obviously we have ways to discard. You're discarding it with Ultra Ball. You're discarding it with uh, Earthen Vessel. And I guess you might play one along the, the lines, but you probably want to play a better supporter, right? Um, and you just you just want to get these in the discard pile. So you you know you might you're probably not going to get four all the time. One might be prized. Takes a little work to get them. But if you get three, then you're attacking for Water Colorless on the Combomable or one Energy on the Veluza. I mean, the Veluza is just really essentially a worse Cramorant to me, so I, I don't really love it. Yeah, it does have more HP, um, though, which is moderately meaningful. Uh, more expensive retreat cost. Slightly different stat. Hits weakness, which can be meaningful as well. Not that meaningful, but it, you know, there are times when I've uh, wanted to hit weakness with Cramorant that you just can't. And I think there have been multiple times when my opponents tried to hit weakness on me with Cramorant, and it doesn't happen. And then they're sad. And right. they quit sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think if you're playing the Kofus, you're playing it for Kabombo, but you're probably dropping in a Veluza as well, I would suspect. Because um, 250 for, like, probably two energies is where you're at. Now, the problem is it's two energies, unless you can get all four in, but if one's prized, all of a sudden, you you, you, you got a bit of a problem yeah, here. I mean, so there you are ways be to get a... stuff out of the prizes, though. It's not, like, impossible. People don't play them, but um, there, there are ways. There's a way. But it, ta- but it also takes time, right? It takes uh, time to get so. out of prizes. Well, it takes cut, right? It takes supporters and stuff to make it happen, right? Oh, yeah, all one so, supporter and then an item. But then you don't. But then you you. Have, but I, look, if you're going second, the odds of you getting all four Kofus. Oh well, yeah, you're not doing up, that. Yeah, yeah. Even on turn two, you, you you're probably not getting all four in the this card pile turn two all the time. Yeah, I that's don't true. think. Because yeah. you have to search them out and all that. So you so you're you're having now to. Get two energies at least, I think, onto Kabamble, and I don't know if that's good enough. So, what am I going to play? I'm, am I playing back Scalibur to accelerate to it, and then it's like, uh, may, yeah, I, I mean, maybe so. that's good enough, though. Maybe, maybe that you just swap it in that slot. It seems kind of bad. I mean, it, it's only a, a single prize, right? They don't have a single prize Pokemon that does this much damage, but um, and if, if that's your build, you're dropping the Kofu's probably completely and just 
you know, you're just recovering all the energies and attacking, which probably doesn't make sense. So I'm not sure that it's going to be overly good. It's interesting. It's fun. I, I'm not. I'm not loving it though. Yeah. Um. Next, we got Zero Aura from Stellar Miracle, and this one is yeah. not that good, quite frankly. Uh, 120 HP, Lightning Colorless yeah. does 20 ton more for each your points bench Pokemon for Lightning Colorless. Um. It's, eh. Right. Because uh, it's two energy. If it was one lightning, maybe. Yeah, that would be pretty it, good. It, I think it was one. but Right, but two, you've got to accelerate an energy, or you're having to set up over two turns. So I, I don't, you know, I guess when they if they have the bench that's eight wide, maybe. I, I, but even then, I don't think Oh, it's yeah, that's enough. true. Yeah, that's, um, and also it does, I mean, we've seen a lot of random zero or C play, but um, it's, it's still not that good. Right, it doesn't have free retreat, so. No. Um, they did both the other zero ores that saw. There's the Silver Tempest one, which is still in standard. Standard. Um, and there's the Voltage one. Oh, the, yeah, they both had to retreat. So, um, yeah. Uh, then we got uh, Cinderace EX here. Though this one's interesting. Yep. This is <clears throat> excuse me. One of the leaked ones. The four leaked ones were the Trap Ghost, the Lapras mm-hmm. EX, the the Galvantula, which we talked about, and the Cinderace. Uh, and Cinderace here has two attacks. It is a Terra and it's like stellar, so it has this weird attack cost, and it has free retreat, 320 HP, fire stage two, uh, but flash yep. strike, 280 damage for fire colorless. Colorless during your points next, uh, sorry, during your next turn, this Pokemon can't use flare strike. But then you have Garnet Volley as well as another attack, and this attack is going to be doing uh, 180 damage to one of your points Pokemon, and for fire fighting darkness, so that's a little weird. <laughs> Well, I was I was working on a deck today that um where it, it plays the stage two. I'm blank on the name that Infernape. accelerates a fire, infer yeah in in infer 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 nape that accelerates a fire and a uh, fighting. Wait, it's, was it Hisuian for... Arcanine? Was that what you're playing? It is. I'm playing the the fourth Hisuian Arcanine, which is I I think hard, barely playable. But yeah, it, it's played I was in trying Zorark, to... though, or it was played in Zorark. Yeah, it's obviously it was, exactly. It, it it probably it was the best Hisuian Arcanine, but now it is probably the worst. But because Zorox rotated. Um, but so look, you can accelerate those every turn with a stage two. And you need to rare candy, so hey, there there we go. But and you don't need uh, to but, accelerate uh, every turn because it doesn't discard. Normally attacks like this will discard, but this one doesn't. Right. And it's free retreat too. And you have the first attack. Uh, the first attacks are usually set up, and you do have Magma Basin because it's a fire Pokemon. So you can pow- you know, you're gonna be using that mostly. Then you can't. Then you're either switching to the bench, or you're like attaching, you know, one more energy, to a fourth energy, say, to get this the third type, and, and that's okay too, I think. Yeah, I feel like this is a. It's a solid Pokemon. It's like not not amazing, but I feel like it's it's pretty balanced, honestly. Um, I don't know if it'll like feel good in the game. It might either feel really bad, most likely, or feel like, um, broken. But we'll see. And there was some stellar Pokemon support as well. If you wanna wanna use that. Right. If you can get it powered up, it's very good. If you can't, it's going to be disappointing, and probably it's going to fall on disappointing. But I, I, I like. I'm looking forward to trying it out. Yeah. Uh, next, we got got a few Pokemon, some pretty interesting ones, I guess. We got Togedemaru. For one lightning, mm-hmm. it does 30 damage. If your opponent has exactly one prize remaining, it does um, paralysis as well, though, which is kind of interesting. And I have some ideas for this after. I want to hear your thoughts, though. I mean, look, paralysis is really good. Obviously, you're really hoping at that point that your opponent can't not can't get out of the paralysis because then you just lose the game, right? You have an 80 HP Pokemon; they have one prize remaining. You're going to lose. So I'm not loving it. It's kind of a a last chance hope thing. So I, I don't, I don't, I you know, 30. Uh, so I don't love it, but it is what it is. Yeah, I think you could paralysis loop your opponent. Um, so you could play like um some disruption that you could play, say Luxray EX, right? Or like Luxray mm-hmm. B and do uh, disrupt them a lot throughout the course of the game, play Aries, yeah. Misfortune Sister, things like that. And then you could eventually just um, just loop them with this attack, and then you could attach two double turbo energies, and then you're not doing any damage, and you're just paralyzing them, and then doing that over and over and over again until they deck out. So that was my right. brilliant strategy. Yeah, no, I was thinking, and obviously, like with Snorlax decks, we both play that some. Sometimes it doesn't go well, and you get down to one prize, and you're kind of hoping. So at that point, this could be good. I'm um, also thinking because I, I, you know, monkey, I love Monkey Dory. So even if you get just, you start with a lightning, and then you get like a lightning and, du- and double turbo, you're only doing ten. So you can Monkey Dory the ten off every turn, so you can start to take out their bench while you keep them pa- pa- paralyzed. But it, it's it's going to be tricky. Yeah, that seems a little sketchy. Um, but 
<laughs> do you want to say more about that? I feel no, like I, I think right. your idea was a little sketchy too. That, that's all I'd say. Yeah. Um, and we have Drift Plim with everyone explode now. Um, <laughs> stage one, one psychic gets yeah. 50 damage for each of your Drift Loon and Drift Limon you have in play, and it does uh, 30 to each of your Drift Loon and Drift Limon in play. So if you have four Drift Limbs, Drift Limb slash Drift Loon, it's going to be doing 200, mm -hmm. which is pretty easy to do, um, and relatively easy. And then it does 30 to each of your Drift Loon, Drift Limon in play, so you're damaging them. There is the Drift. Uh, Drifloon, which uh, does more damage, which damage kind of on it, you know, playing Guard War. Um, right. One of the best attacks in the game right now, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't say it is, but it's the main attacker and the best deck. Um, then there yes. is the... Um, the This is the highest HP Drift Limb. Uh, it has 130, so you could okay. actually do Relicanth with this Drift Limb and use the current Drifloon uh, in Guard War as well. Uh, okay, I, I see. Instead of the, the tool... Yeah, Bravery Charm. And this is actually giving you more HP as well, which doesn't really matter, but it's fine. Yeah, the Bravery Charm works is more works on your some of your other attack your other attacker as well. So Yeah, but it can get lost vacuum and you can just get knocked out, which is not so fun. Yeah, I mean it's it's a way you can play the Gardevoir, the Drift Loon that does the attacking with the Drift Blimp, so you can do it without Gardevoir, I guess. Um I you know, that's kind of sketchy. It, look, this wants um Zork. Right, if Zorak was a format, this would be really good. I get, now oh, I but that's like awkward as well. That's that's pretty. You're like jumping through a lot of hoops to do that. I feel like. Well, I could get one more in play, right? Yeah, I could, I could even get. get you can four... even have eight in play. I think. Uh, if potentially, if, yeah, because you I have mean, the stadium, then um, you could have Zorak if that was in standard, and then you could be doing 400 damage to one energy. Yeah, I'm just gonna say you skipped over the Drifloon, which isn't good, but the attack it makes me laugh. Expand, I don't know if that's the right name, but it does ten damage, and then during your opponent's next turn, it takes ten less damage from attacks. It's got massive seventy tank, HP though, tank. so 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 you're not gonna get knocked out then. It's just kind of, I mean, I I I, I you know why would they do that, right? Yeah, why it would seems it take kind of bad. Damage? I mean, like if if they're doing like <laughs> um like th there are some like basic Pokemon like Comfy if that's attacking you or something like that. Um, they're going from yeah. a three shot to uh to a four shot so <laughs> I, I guess that's it's good it, it's it, it, it's it's pretty useless though I, I i believe right in the most part it's just kind of funny that they bothered to, to do that yeah that's uh -huh. all but so so what but are your the, thoughts do you think this i think drift Limb's okay it's okay look it attacks for one energy that's really good um the hp it, now the drift loon you, you do 30 to your drift loons in play so they're going down to 40 hp um, so you better not be going against Dragapult, I will say that, right? Uh, yeah, that would be kind of kind of bad. But um, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, that's kind of a weird dynamic as well, because they can't ever, um, if you just have a Drifloon in, on your bench, they can't uh, put six damage counters on. I mean, they kind of can, but then you're hitting a ton. So, But yeah, it's, it's not no. so good against Dragapult. Right. It, it, it's a weird dynamic. It's interesting. I definitely want to try it out. I'm it, The fact, though, that it does... You're capping at 200 means you're not one-shotting the multi-prize basics, and I think you kind of need to do that because because it's going to be work to set up, and you're not always even get three and pl four in play, and then you're going to be knocking yourself out at times probably. So I think I, that's why I think with um, Zorark, if you could get to 250 with it, then I'd feel a lot better. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I think it's okay though. It's not like a, a bad card. It's like a solid single prize, kind of like a meme deck as well. No, it is a meme deck. I don't know if it's going to be more than that. Look, I do want to try it out for sure. So mm -hmm. we'll see what it does. Next up, though, we got uh, another fossil, which we'll talk about the fossil in just a minute. But we got Lilip, which is it's not very good. It's not like the worst, no. I guess, but it's a stage one fossil. Other than Cradilly, the stage two for um, it's 150 HP, stage two grass Pokemon, and its uh, mm -hmm. ability is Mucus Buffet. So so lovely there. Um, Sting your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Uh, if heads choose burn, confused, or poisoned, and your opponent's active is now affected by that special condition, and your attack Marshy wins for one grass, it does 100 times multiplier for each special condition on your opponent's active. So if they're burned, confused, and poisoned, you're essentially one-shotting anything. Um, I feel like there's, like, there's got to be right. some when you're not one-shotting, like some stage 2EX, like, uh, I'm looking real quick. Um, right. Torterra, but you're, getting you're not one-shotting Torterra EX. Right, but you're getting to 330. You're doing your 300, 20 for burn, and 10 for poison. So that that's very good. 
Um, obviously, if your opponent plays the uh, Ancient Booster uh, Energy Capsule, you you just cry. If you're if you're up against Diply Thwacky, Diply and Thwacky. they're playing, yeah, you know what I mean. They're playing Festival Lead Stadium. Uh, you cry again, right? Uh, yes, yes. Or the, but uh, but no, it's a fun it's a fun deck. It's a stage two. It's a single energy attacker. You can. Now it's, you're flipping a coin, so even if you get four in play, you're probably gonna you're gonna average two. Um, it, it's it'll be fun. Obviously, it's stage two that that makes it tough, though, right? Uh, the, now the, the the base the stage one does stall. It does fifty, and it can't retreat. So you may be buying time along the way as you're setting up because you really need to get all four of these guys set up to make it work. Oh well, you have brute bot it too, right? With the tool, right? So, so then you get one free special condition. Yeah, and each you also have that the spec, which um, I think it burns and confuses as an item, which is like in my opinion really bad. But in this deck, it's it's pretty good. Is it just a ton of damage? Yeah, so it, it, it's it's yeah no I like it, it's it's fun right again it's it's is it a meme deck is it anything better than that I'm not sure but it's a lot of fun and potentially see this is one where the payoff is is good enough that I definitely want to put the work into it because you can you're one shotting anything it's not easy to get there but when when it works you know you can win games yeah of course it is a stage two fossil but you know whatever <laughs> whatever right yeah um, you are you are fossil you are I am well here's the good thing with fossils it, a fossil. Now, it's not usually a good thing. I, I get it. But there are some decks, there's Pokemon you don't want to start in the game. And you know what? You don't have to start the Fossil. So if you, you can kind of control, you can help control your starting Pokemon with Fossil de based decks. I guess. Um, but but then we have the Fossil here, Antique Root Fossil, um, with its, yes. which is an item. And um, it has a pretty interesting, well, it has its the 6 HP, basic, colorless, mm -hmm. no special conditions, can't retreat. Uh, the no special condition thing is meaningful here if you are brute bonneting, but whatever. Uh, and then yeah. you can discard it for play at any time. But its ability, Primal Roots, as long as it's in the active, your opponent's basic Pokemon's attacks cost one colorless more, which I think is pretty good. You can pair this with Gravity Stone, which increases their retreat cost by one. And if mm -hmm. they're like playing um, like Lost Zone, you could kind of get a comfy, and it's just going to be in a. It's not like a massive issue because they play a bunch of Switch, but maybe um, like Tatsugiri, right? That'll be really sad. Um, I guess that's just the gravity stone because they're not really attacking the Tastic area ever. But like, still, uh, they're a Pokemon you could trap, and it, it could be annoying for them. Right, and uh, and the the extra energy is gonna slow things down too. So it gives you the chance because it's a stage two deck. You get this guy in the active, and you slow your opponent down for a turn or two because you're pro honestly you're gonna have to buy a couple, probably two turns somewhere to get yourself set up with this deck because you need like a whole bunch of stage twos, which isn't great. Yeah, but um, I think I think it's a pretty pretty interesting like set of cards here. Well, not not the yeah. the uh, little leaf, but the the, the root fossil and the quidilly. Um Yes. Yeah. But then we got some other cards revealed. These are um, there's actually a bunch of cards revealed, but unfortunately we don't know what they are. Well, we we know what they are. We don't know what they do. It's too blurry to read. But two aren't too blurry to read. And right. um, so oh, these are a little blurry though. It says the translations might not be 100 percent accurate, but it probably is. Um, we got Terra Sylveon. Oh, no, well, it is Terra Stellar. Stellar Sylveon EX, yep, and Stellar yes. Sailage EX. These are coming, uh, in August 30th, August 30th in Japan. Uh, no idea when they're coming internationally, but Sylveon EX. Right, yeah. hang hang on a second. Oh. So they're coming in pre-constructed decks in Japan. They're not part of a regular release. So a special product, and I'm guessing we'll have it a special product for us at some point. I don't know that it'll be in a, a main set. So yeah, so we don't know when we're going to get it. Yeah. Uh, but then we have Sylveon EX here. It's a Terra Moon to bench damage, but Magical Charm 160, Psychic Colors, Colors. Doing your points next turn, attacks from the defending Pokemon do 100 less. And then Angelite here, um, which is Water Lightning Psychic. Choose two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and shuffle all those cards and all cards attached to them into their deck. And uh, if you use this attack last turn, uh, then this attack fails. I'm assuming if that's if uh, if you like the player used it, so you can't use it back to back turns. Yeah, and that one's really interesting. They're both pretty solid, right? So stage one, so easy to evolve into. Um, doing 160 is okay. Um, it's not great, but. Yeah, but then you take 100 less damage, so they have to hit 370 to one-shot you. So you, you're pretty much well, not getting knocked out. 100 less damage. 100 less damage, right. So right. So they have to hit 370 to one-shot you. Assuming they don't right? like switch. Um, 
Oh, yeah, it's from the defending Pokemon. It's not this Pokemon takes 100 less, which would be better. So, Or, right, they can switch, they can evolve, all those things reset that. Yeah, if um, they but gust, it's not though, bad. If, if they gust, though, then it doesn't matter. Then, and that's nice. But generally, yeah, it's worse than taking 100 less. Right. Yeah, I agree. So, But it, it's not bad. And then the other one, obviously, is Water, Lightning, Psychic. That's not good. Not good at all. Uh, but shuffling two bench Pokemon is pretty interesting, right? Um, I that that's I, you know you, you, a deck like that is very interesting, very appealing. So I like that, and I get it's interesting that it, it, if you used it last turn, the attack fails. It doesn't say you can't use the attack. You can choose the attack; it just won't do anything, right? So it's kind of it's worse than saying you can't do it, right? Because yeah. it's going to let you choose it, and then it's good. Oops, sorry, it does nothing. Yeah, I think it might just say you can't use it. I don't know. It might be the same thing, just like translated differently. Obviously, in effect, it's more or less the same. But um, yeah. But then we, it's it's kind of interesting. Uh, there we are going to get a bunch of um, evolution like EXs, I think. So that's going to be an interesting option potentially in that deck. Mm -hmm. But then we have Serial Edge EX here, which has 270 HP again, Fire Pokemon uh, Stage One EX, and uh, yep. uh, Abyssal Flames 30 for one Fire and uh, 20 more for each basic energy in your discard pile. Then Amethyst Rage for Fire Psychic Metal 280 discard all energy from this Pokemon. Yeah, I mean, 280 in attack is good. The, I just, the attack cost is going to be awkward. It always is for these. Um, I don't think that the awkwardness is going to be enough of a payoff, I got to say. Uh, I could be wrong um, for that. The first attack maybe is more interesting. Um, with our, you know, a deck with a lot of energies. It's a fire deck. You have magma basin, so you may play extra energies. Um, and, and, they, and they stay in the discard pile. So if you potentially streamed the Acceleruge EXs, then, uh, it, you know, Serial Edge. You said like Celery or something? Yeah. All right. I'm not going to try saying it. But um, yeah, but, but, you know, but there are some attacks like this and they go back into the deck. This doesn't. They stay in the discard pile. So um, it, it's in, I think maybe you could, you, could, you could try and make a deck work based on that first attack, I think. Yeah, and it's an interesting option in arm rouge decks as well, right? So, um, yes, because it evolves from the same same Pokemon, so you could play the arm rouge EX, the single prize arm rouge, and the serial edge EX. There's a single prize serial edge as well. Oh, okay, there's two single prize arm rouges, but there's, mm -hmm. there's the better one, uh, the one that moves energies around. Uh, but then I think right. you got a pretty interesting like set of options in that deck, and then you can also play, of course, other fire Pokemon. I think that's pretty cool until Magma Basin rotates, then it's not so cool. Right, and, and with the Armor Rouge that accelerates, you can play Luminous Energy. To, as long as it's the only special energy, it's every type, so it's fire to move from the bench to the active if you need to, but then it covers what any of the other types, right? The Psychic or the Metal, but you have to attach the third type from hand, I assume, manually. Well, you could do the basic. A-Spec. You could do the, that A-Spec tool. So you could do some Luminous okay. Energies um, yep. and Fire Energies, which are pretty common in, in Armor Rouge right now, I, I think. I mean, Armor Rouge doesn't yeah. play that much, but... Um... No, but yeah, so character. yeah, with a tool to reduce it by one energy type, then yeah, it, you, you can use, you, you're only going to get it once because you're relying on your tool probably so, but having that 280 option once over the course of the game it, it, it is a nice thing too. Yeah. Um, then we got one last card here, which is Deluxe yep. Bomb. Uh, so, <laughs> so lovely card. It, and it is the bomb, I think, here. Uh, y yeah, um, I guess. So, Deluxe Bomb here. Wait, is, is that good? It, usually it's good. I think in this case, it's not good, though. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, so you want, you want to read it for us? Sure. So it's a trainer. It's a tool. And if it, it, if the Pokemon this card is attached to is in the active spot and damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, even if it's knocked out, of course, as they always say, you put 12 damage counters on the po attacking Pokemon, and then you discard this card. And so, it's an ace look, back. I don't remember if you said that or if I said that, but it is an ace I, back. Right. So you're playing this ace back instead of any other ace back. Um, you're doing 12 damage counters, which is it's, it's okay. I, I, it's not the end all and be all there's ways to get a decent amount of damage counters as it is right i mean i was playing this magius that does what eight damage counters and i don't need to use my a spec for that um so this is more i get it but and, and then it gets discarded too it doesn't even stay in play because it's because it'd be too broken if it stayed in play for two turns right i i don't why did they do that no, i think it's I okay i mean if you were like hitting into this like if you're hitting into the same pokemon over and over like um 
Like, like if you're like, remember when you there was Drake's old V Max? Well, actually, no, this is just Drake's yeah. V Max. But you, your opponent was Cheryl, and you'd like hit into them, and you I don't know, maybe I hated that deck more than you did. That's probably my least. No, I did. I, I didn't like it, and and it was it was like everywhere for a bit. So I, I wasn't that, everywhere, but the games were so long and so not fun, and um, you just like be sitting there, and it's like, oh, I could attack and lose faster, or I could not attack and lose slower, and it was just really sad. Yeah, but like pretty much, it seems like every competitive deck plays one loss vacuum, right? So you're going to lose this anyway. I just, look, I think the fact you only can use this once over the course of the game and not use a different ace spec, it just, I, what deck would ever want this? I mean, you can recover it, right? I think it's okay. I mean, it's extra damage, <sighs> right? It's a good chunk of extra damage. Yeah. Like, action Belt obviously sees play, but it's not guaranteed. It's pretty, pretty underwhelming. Uh, but, you know, it's it's a card. <laughs> Yeah, it, look, I don't think it's going to become the ace spec of choice, um, and I'm not sure if it's going to be the ace spec of choice for any deck, even any one deck. But it, it'll get obviously used some because everything does. Yeah, but uh, so that's all. That's the last card. We actually there was another card we didn't talk about it, but it's like a what was it? It was like a special Chinese promo that like yes. did like 500 damage. It does or 500 damage for four energy? And you yeah. said it wasn't good at that. I I, I, I said, said I thought it, well, it would be good. I, I said it's not like. I don't know if I said it wasn't broken. I don't. Oh wait, here I got it. So it's, it has 90 HP, basic Pokemon, two colorless. It's Trapagos and friends. So it has like a bunch of people on it, which is like funny having like Pokemon that are like people. Um, but great fellowship adventure for four colorless. That was kind of expensive. It does 100 damage for each of your Poke. Wait for each of your Pokemon, um, in play. I guess I don't even think like, like that doesn't even yeah. make sense. It, it would need to say in play or like somewhere. Um, but anyway, so that's yes. going to be doing a massive. Uh, damage but it's a lot of energy but it would be really good i mean you play it in like in lugia and you just like one shot everything for this like single prize or basic right i mean you you could put it in charizard then you can accelerate to it and just attach manually there's a lot of ways you could do it i you know on i, I said fortress ex i know that's kind of a my running joke but honestly if you could do this you could power this up on turn two consistently and you're one shotting every Although it gets knocked out, so that that's the problem. But it, yeah. it's just way too much damage, right, for one one card to do. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's all for today's video or podcast. Uh, check us out on podcasting platforms and on um, on our YouTube channels. YouTube. In YouTube. Yep. YouTube.com slash at ten types. YouTube.com slash at com uncommon fossil. We both have the podcast, so leave comments down below if you want one of us to see it. Leave it on that person's podcast. But uh, we hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, it was long. There are a lot of guys to talk about. But we hope you enjoyed it. And we're excited to see you in the next episode. Take care.